The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let go him, and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left him, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to, his, to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servants as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will your heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgive your brother from the heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Asaraya coming before God, acknowledging that they have no temple and they have no offering. And the only thing Asariah, the prophet, can say, what only, the only thing we have is a contrite heart. A contrite heart. My dear brothers and sisters, as I have said this last Sunday, your heart is more important than your offerings. Hindi kailangan ng Diyos ng templo at hindi kailangan ng Diyos ang ating mga paghahandog. Tayo ang may pangangailangan. Ang mahalaga sa Diyos ay isang malinis na puso. Pusong nagdadalamhati sa kasalanan ng kanyang ginawa pusong merong pagsisisi. As I have said, that Christianity is an outward movement. It is not what is being done to us, but what we do to others in response to what they have done. The question of today, how many times should I forgive a brother? How many times? Seven times? And you know, those who like playing their calculators, 
if you play seven times, seven times, you play with it, and you push the equal sign. Every time you push the equal sign, it comes with a new answer. It means unlimited. Yesterday, we talked about the love of God that is inclusive. Today, we have to remember that the love of God is unlimited. Unlimited. Pero Father, nasaktan ako. Nasaktan ako. Ano palagi tanong? Hindi pa ba ako nakakapagpatawad? Kasi tuwing nakikita ko siya, o naalala ko siya, naramdaman ko ang galit ng aking kalooban. First, you have to understand that forgiveness and healing does not come together. It does not come together. Forgiveness and healing does not come together. And when we talk about healing, it talk about physical, emotional, psychological. That is not a one-time process. When I got stabbed, <clears throat> when I was in college, a victim of a multiple stab wounds, every time I remember the incident, even though the wounds in my body already healed, I can still feel the pain. I can still feel the pain. We call it the physical trauma. The physical trauma. Wala na sugat, pero parang may sumasakit-sakit. Ano yung emotional healing? Of course, there is a distrust in people who come nearer to you when you go to that place. Ano yung psychological healing? Kailangan mong i-precondition uli ang utak mo na hindi naman lahat ng ganyang itsurang tao hold up her. It does not come overnight. It does not come overnight. Don't expect when you forgive somebody, all the pains will go. It takes time. It takes time. The moment you are being betrayed and you have forgiven, the person has to re-earn the trust na sinira niya. Hindi, hindi porke pinatawad mo, ang dating pagtitiwala, magbabalik agad. Nandun palagi ang paghihinala. Nandun palagi. Nandun ang sakit at sakit ng kalooban. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. It takes time. You have to understand. But you always know this. Do I have to wait for the person to come to me before I forgive? No. No. Kailangan mo bang ang tao ay umalis o mawala yung mga dahilan ng pagkasugat mo bago mo gamutin ang sugat mo? Hindi. Gamutin mo na kaagad. Ba't mo antay magnaknak ang sugat mo? Hindi. It is your obligation to heal yourself. If they don't want to ask for forgiveness, so what? But if you keep on holding to the pains every time you remember, then you are the one giving injustice to yourself. Nakakakain na sila ng maayos, nakakatulog na sila ng maayos, ikaw, masama pang loob mo. Again, healing and forgiveness doesn't come together. Second, it, you don't have to wait for others to ask for forgiveness to forgive. You forgive because it is what is good for you. Third, this is more important. Remember, when you sin against God, when you sin against God, nagkakaroon ka ng utang sa Diyos. At anong sabi doon? May mga utang na ikaw ay hindi mo kayang bayaran na ikaw lang. Magbabayad ang iyong pamilya, magbabayad ang iyong asawa, magbabayad ang iyong anak. Huwag mong kakalimutan yan. May mga, mga utang na hindi mo kayang bayaran na ikaw lang. Kaya bago ka mangutang, itanong mo muna sa iyong sarili. 
kaya ko bang bayaran ito? O mayroong ibang taong magdudusa lang dahil sa pagkakautang na ito? Habag, habag, mercy is where we rely, is what <coughs> we rely and ask from God. Habag, to enjoy the benefits we do not, for, we do not deserve. My dear friends, to be spared from the punishment we deserve. Humingi ka ng, humingi ka ng tawad bago pa mayroong ibang mapahama. At ang paghingi ng tawad, kaakibat ang pagbabago ng kalooban. Ngayon, saan sinubukan yan? Ano ang iyong tugon sa mga taong gumagawa din ng masama sa iyo? He was forgiven, but He failed to forgive. He was forgiven, but He failed to forgive. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, don't imagine what the torturers will do to you until you pay the last penny. Can you really imagine what will be done to you when you are being tortured? until you're able to pay the last penny. Kaya nga, we always go back. What is really important is not the temple. What is really important is not the offering. What is important is a contrite heart. Amen. Nagpabarnis po tayo ng pews, kung napansin ninyo, ang akin pong pakiusap, Huwag na pong punas-punasan ng alkohol. Ano po? Kaya po pumuti yan dahil may ibang nagsisimba. Punas ng punas ng alkohol. Ano po? Ah, nagdi-disinfect po tayo palagi. You don't need to do that. Ah, kung hindi man alkohol, yung wipes na may alkohol. Ano po? Please stop doing it. Ano po? Going back to what I've said, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, the love of God is inclusive. The forgiveness of God is unlimited for those who have a contrite heart. Healing takes place not the same as the time we forgive because there are wounds Emotionally, psychologically, physically. It takes time. Kung malalim ang sugat, mas matagal ang pagkahilom. Ang mahalaga ay, nagihilom ito sa tamang panahon. Pero magandang pagtuunan ng pansin, mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Do not forget this. We will be judged not what is being done to us, but what we do to others. What we do to others. And lastly, perhaps, remember that every debt, lahat ng pagkakautang ay dapat bayaran. May utang na hindi kayang bayaran ng may utang, kaya ang magbabayad ay kasamang asawa, anak, buong pamilya. Mag-iingat kayo. Mag-iingat kayo. At may pagkakautang kung saan you will be tortured in a very unimaginable way until you are able to pay your debts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assails them that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.